Beginning today, Quebecers who've been vaccinated will receive a downloadable QR code, which when scanned, will confirm their immunization. With more, we're joined by Rewat Dionandan, epidemiologist at the University of Ottawa. Thank you for being here. Uh, the province is adamant that these aren't vaccine passports, but has yet to announce its plan for the codes. As of now, nobody's actually able to scan the codes besides the government, but theoretically, what could this technology be used for? Right. So most of us are used to the idea of vaccine passports for international travel. There was precedent for that. But this is kind of new, using it for domestic usage. Other countries have already rolled out their plans. Denmark, Israel, Estonia, England has one as well. The idea is if you've uh, been vaccinated, if you've recovered from COVID, if you've had a recent negative test, that will be stored in a central repository protected by the government. And you can download a QR code onto your phone or maybe a card that you show to a place of business like a restaurant or a gym or a hairdresser to show that you are safe to be in that uh, vicinity. That's the idea. Whether or not it will be accepted, that's another story entirely. Well, several provinces already have some form of proof of vaccination. Nova Scotia, British Columbia, Saskatchewan, and Manitoba either provide paper receipts after someone gets their shot or allows them to access it online. Are we gonna be seeing more provinces adopt this instant verification technology? I think it's possible. Uh, definitely that's the way Europe is going. Denmark famously has something called NEMID, which is their national digital identification system. And this is getting linked to that. So if you wanna access a hairdresser, you gotta show it. Israel has it as well. The problem here is that there's an equity and ethics issue. So if you can't get vaccinated for medical reasons, for example, will you be denied essential services like riding the bus or going for groceries? This has to be worked out. Then there's the idea that the system has to be contiguous across provinces. If people go from uh, Ontario to Quebec, will the Quebec system be able to access the Ontario database? Same for international travel. What do we do with tourists who come in here wanting to use these services? Uh, they won't have access to the same QR codes as we do. There are a lot of bugs that need to be worked out for this to work. Yeah, but this, I mean, it, we, we, we should have seen this coming, no? I mean, the, the, the end result was a vaccination program. Uh, that, that's, that's the way through this thing. It seems, though, that, that we're taking our time on making a decision that we know we have to make. Yeah, this has been true throughout the entire pandemic. Things that are fairly obvious, we drag our feet on. This is one of those things. But uh, the fact that other countries are ahead of the game, especially Europe with a more contiguous strategy, probably shows that we're going to have to take a similar path. The big question is, is our population, is the, uh, the ethic of Canada open to this idea? It comes down to how open are we to carrying essentially identification card all the time? You know, there's something authoritarian about that, but it may be unavoidable. So Israel and, as you said, Estonia have also created these proof of vaccination uh, systems that use QR codes. European Union working on one as well that would allow people to travel between those nations. Um, but you said there's a patchwork internationally. What, what are we looking at in terms of sort of uh, the international community? Well, if every country does their own thing, how is a traveler able to present ID that someone in Canada, an official, can access if they don't have access to the, the other country's database? And also, uh, there's the potential for fraud. Also keep in mind that not all vaccines are recognized by Canada. You can imagine a traveler coming here with a fairly advanced uh, ID system, a QR code on their phone, but it says that they were vaccinated by the Chinese vaccine or the Russian vaccine. Do we accept that as uh, as potential, as uh, as a good thing? I don't know. So these are details that have to be worked out. Even nationally in Canada, if every province has their own system, our healthcare systems don't talk to each other. It has to be worked out. So this has been a percolating issue in health systems and health information system for decades. And now it's kind of looking at us in the face saying, you should have fixed this a few years ago. Um, I'm curious to see how we do this. Raywad, it's not often that I end a segment with more questions than I started. <laughs> but in this case, I think that's a good thing. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you.